Hey everyone, Jessica Cabasi here. So I got a tutorial request on doing like a bright white washed out image. Um, I'm sure if you've been on Instagram, you've seen um, a bunch of, you know, wannabe hipsters doing it on their Instagrams, like posting really washed out pictures. It's really easy to do. So I'm just going to show you guys how it, one way of doing that. So first you're going to want to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then curves. And again, like I said, this is really easy to do. Um, just pull up the very bottom dot. <laughs> I don't really know if there's a technical term for that. And you can bring this one up over here just to increase the brightness of it. So we just got rid of the, the black so that there's a little bit more gray showing. If you want it to be a little bit more contrasted, what you can do is add another layer or simply by hiring this dot and kind of tweaking it from here. It's kind of like that. And literally you could do this all in one layer. You can add another layer if you want. And go to Hue Saturation and lower the saturation from here if you want it to be even more washed out and depressing. Again, I really don't know why people do this effect. It, I mean, maybe it's because they have no soul, but I really don't like it personally. It's not that hard to do though. And let me just add one more layer, a brightness and contrast layer. If I just go to the contrast setting. And if you really wanted to get hipster with this, like you don't need to do this step, but if you go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then um, exposure. If you simply play with the offset and then the exposure, actual exposure, you can kind of create like a cool, again, want to be hipster, soulless image. There you go. And I'm going to try it on. Um, I have one of this image so that you can see it on a model real quick. I'm just going to do the same exact thing. So I just went to curves. And I'm just going to go ahead and just go to exposure now and so I can show you guys. And this one was a little overexposed. I didn't fix it in raw yet. Just for the sake of this tutorial. So let me show you guys the before and after for this one too. Again, that took me like two seconds to do. And this is an image I took in Spain, by the way. Because I really normally would not take pictures of buildings. So... Super easy to do, and I hope this was helpful for you guys. You could really do this with one or two layers, but it's really just your preference. And let me know if you have any other questions. Thank you guys for watching.